Hello world, I'm Lukap, welcome back to Sunless Sea, where at this moment we are here at the Chapel of Lights because uh, this fellow here wanted us to go to the Chapel of Lights, yes. And here we are, so let's see what's here. Do you hear music? Furtive faithful gather in the shadows between the many many candles. A bell tolls in the chapel tower, cracked iron laughter. Beware, the aisle is full of voices. So we can eat the chapel's bounty. Might do because we're really hungry and we don't have that much supplies. I think it's we're actually eating humans here. Uh, let's start by gathering intelligence though first. What occurs here between the darkness and the light? A smiling priest in a red cossack tends the chapel. The congregation are shy of light. They come and go in little ships and it's strange and difficult to count them. Perhaps some of them are imaginary. Still, you know the name of a ship or two. Right, and then, uh... Sigil will navigate a race towards the chapel. This is the place! Hark! The bell! You give chase. Within, the air is heavy and hushed. You enter to see your navigator shaking a smiling priest by the color. It led me here! Tell me what it means! Look at it! Look at it! The priest disentangles himself as plastic as possible. I'm sure we can find a pass to put on you on, my friend. He examines the sigil with the professional air of a collector, but we will need your help in return. So we could pay a price. Uh, we need two live specimen, or we can pay another price. We need unaccountably package number one. <laughs> Which, uh, okay, so if we eat here, let's see if this makes us, <laughs> yes, <laughs> unaccountably package. A smiling priest unlocks the door of the storehouse for you. Here, he says, eat. But take nothing away with you. Rich and red. They have shark steaks plucked from the sea. Thin slice of cavern tuna. Translucent and delicate as paper. Little crimson cakes flowered with cinnamon and coated with poppy seeds. Deviled pork kidneys on crusty bread. Gorge yourself. Live with the juices dripping from your chin. So at least now we have the unaccountably peckish menace going on. So we can... Hey, what do we need for this? Five supplies. Uh, we can uh, pay another price. So we're going to give them two of our crew members. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this goes. The priest slips his arm around your shoulders. For you, a lesser payment, he whispers. Post no guards on your ship tonight. Ask no questions. And in the morning, perhaps up to join us for breakfast. A red and white smile. A new destination. The chapel's congregation are soft-footed. No one on board hears them come or go. In the morning, a crewman's bed is empty. You divert your crew's concerns. Later, you take part in late, warm red breakfast in the church's crypt. When you emerge with the smiling priest, your navigator hurries forwards from a pew. The sigil! What does it mean? Who caught on me? What did I do to deserve it? The smiling priest raises a hand. You are on a journey, my friend. Take one step at a time. I've seen your sigil before, caught in the ice at Frostfound. Go there. You will answer your first question. That will lead you to the next. The navigator's thanks are muted. He plots back to your ship. Before you leave, the smiling priest gives you a wink. Okay, so now we want to go to Frostwood and we have two menaces of unaccountably peckish. Oh, we only lost one crew member. Well, that's nice. Do you have a shop here? There is no shop here. Okay. So that's all we got for here. So let's uh, leave then. And so Frostfound was... Yeah, this is Frostfound all the way here. But well, we don't want. We're not gonna go back towards Frostfall. We're gonna go to Codex to Wither the Wenderbite and then back to London. Hopefully, I mean, if we run out of well, we have four supplies. I, I think it's probably enough, and we can buy. I'm pretty sure we can buy more from Wither. Maybe from Codex even. Well, we'll just get to sailing. We'll keep close by to the. Sure, here to save some... Oh no, there's um, one of those things. What are they called? Let's see if we can find out what it's called. A life berg. Yeah, uh, they're scary. Please, life berg, go away, 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 go away. Oh no, 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 don't attack us, don't attack us, life berg. Oh, it's trying to attack us. Oh! More power to the engines! Please, engines just don't explode. Okay, I think we're far away. Enough! Far away enough that it will not uh, 
hunt us anymore. Okay, all clear. Get codex here. Burning blue. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is spotted and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades, but it's not a good omen. 74% uh, chance, sure... Oh, we don't have any Z stories. Well, let's see what this does. You measure and rational speech just you know good. Your crew know bad luck when they see it. So failed, got one more terror. Ah, uh, that's fine. Terror is not so bad at this moment in time. Okay, let's duck here. The Isle of Codex. Agree to a damn prequest. Alright, we need a submarine here. We can compile a port report. And yes, we did. Thing I think we'd, we'd been here before, so this is text we've seen before, so I don't think there's any reason to read. Is there a shop here? There is a shop here. But we don't have any money. Right, that's a problem. But then again, yeah, we, we went from here to here. We lost one supply. We have three more supplies left. I mean, we didn't even lose one supply. Not yet. So I'm pretty sure we have enough so that we can go to Wither and Wendabite and then back to London. And once we're back in London, we don't really need to care about fuel or supplies at all because we're gonna get money. I've completely forgotten if we have anything in our hold to sell. We have things in our hold that we can sell. Oh, but they didn't have any shops there that would uh, actually buy them. So we'll just uh, keep heading this way. There's gotta be something in Wither that'll buy things. Pretty sure. So maybe we can make a little bit of money here and I'd be, if we had, let's say, two more fuel and one more supplies, I wouldn't be worried at all. I'd be sure that we can get to London, but now I'm not so sure. Okay, the house of the question. Northwest of the wither town, the house of the question stands alone. Here the initiates of the house make offerings to the three gods of the deep Z, and perhaps a fourth who is not a god, in the one place in wither where you can sometimes get a straight answer for a price. Gain the attention of a god is useful chiefly for lifting curses. Well, we don't have any curses. And I don't think, yeah, we don't want, <laughs> we don't want to do this. This sounds like a bad idea. We can't benefit from gods anymore. So let's see what they have in the wither. Behind the great arc over the bay, the pale way stretched, white and silent as the face of the moon. From here, you might almost imagine there was snow. Note of the city, the salt pools fizz with unlikely color. Well, let's start by gathering the intelligence here. And yes, we've done this before, they just like to ask us questions over here. Well, let's explore the town since we have uh, this possibility. An intriguing smell. Who'll try? Who'll buy? A street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. Ooh, we can eat some stuff. Try to shred a jelly for a tough challenge. Ooh, do you have anything more robust? The vendor winks and procures a us usefully anonymous skewer of meat. Now, how now satisfied? How rich and red? You gained one menace, unaccountably peckish. New <laughs> total five, I've got three. We gained one iron and lost five hunger. Okay, so let's see. Where are our menaces? Thing is it in our journal? Menaces, yeah. So what? You have the cannibal taint. I wonder if it at some point uh, becomes. If we get the number to be high enough, how bad will it be for us? Uh, we can use uh, this, we can throw it in the sea, we can break it open. Okay, let's not do any of those other things. Do we have anything else here we can use with anything? I think only the things with green borders are things we can use. Alright, we have the trinkets from there as well. I had already forgotten about that. Hey, here's another shop where you can buy supplies for Tales of Terra. Ooh. Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure we have enough. I'm not. I don't want to waste our tales of terror over here. So there was nothing else we could do here. No, this would cost us some money. Yeah. So let's just uh, start heading south, and soon, soon we will be back home in London with all of our buddies. And oh crap! There's another iceberg right there. Or lifeberg, not an iceberg. Well, maybe it won't see us because we're not using our lights. Restless night. In the watches of the night, you pad softly past the hatch to the crew quarters. Man cries out softly in his sleep. Desperately. 
another. Inquire about the dreams the next day, ignore them. You know what, let's inquire about the dreams. It's just a 33% chance, but I mean, we're probably just gonna get some terror from failing, so it's not that bad. Oh, 10 terror, okay, it was pretty bad. I was expecting like maybe one or two. Eyes and a face. The whole knee lit up like a snuffer mask. There's something in the root, Captain. It's the, it, 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 it is the roof. It is watching us. Eyes and a face. Eyes and a face. Yes, you say softly. You lay your hand on the sailor's burning forehead. There are storms in the roof. Hush, we won't join them yet. Okay, uh, yeah, we're getting pretty high on the terror scale there. Uh, but I think we're gonna, once we get to London, some of that, that's gonna just gonna go away for free. The crawling stars. The lookout shouts far above. The false stars in the cavern roof are shifting. A rare and ominous event. What now? So we could record the chains and assign a name. Yeah, sure. I mean, we did this already before, and I think it went well last time. Let's see. Oh, no. More terror. A darkness. Three of the false stars swing out all together, as suddenly as closed eyes. The pattern that remains is as hopeless and meaningless as cast dies. Somewhere, a sailor begins to sob. So, now we're at 50 terror. I think 50 terror is the spot where bad things really start to happen. So, let's just hope that we can all survive. Well, we can survive. I mean, we're already pretty close by to London. We still have three supplies left. Oh, I've got to turn on some lights here. I'm pretty sure of that. Oh, there's some place where we can go to be close to the shore and don't not be as terrified. Oh, there's also a light over there. I really wouldn't want to fight the bats because fighting usually takes up a little bit more fuel, but... Uh, yeah, okay, we don't need to. They are not coming this way. Oh, we're already at Vendabite. <sighs> Sometimes it just feels to me like the amount of time it takes to sail from place to place, it's changes. Like, when we went from here to here, that seemed to take a really long time. But from here to back here, it felt like it just went to get by in a couple of seconds. Okay, Vendabite. Uh, we cannot provide what we have promised because we do not have the Shady Sword with us. So let's go to the tomb of tomb colony of Vendabite. We can visit a restaurant. Uh, let's start with the, the port report. Along the coasts of the Untazi, it's remarkably hard to die. The decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists and settle here in bandaged peace. Yep, okay, I think this is always... Oh, not you. Always the same text, so... Let's visit a certain little restaurant. Find Cassine in Vendabite. Now that would be something. A corkscrewed street. At a twisted tip of an odd little side street, welcoming yellow light glows from the gilt lettered windows of a restaurant. A sign reads, Vengeance of Jonah. A beefy tomb colonist bustles up. A grey moustache bo pokes impertinently out from under his bandages. Come in! Come in! A bandaged poisonier at Vendabite seeks passage with a Z captain sympathetic to intrepid cuisine. You found the vengeance of Jonah. You lost one terror. Okay. It's a cramped little place, but much better lived than most places in tomb colonies. The scents of the dishes are multitudinous and extraordinary. Are they good? They might be. They might be good. It's difficult to tell. Uh, would cost 60, we don't have. Uh, we offer a strange catch, we don't have. Uh, would cost 300 echoes to get this guy with us. Okay, we'll probably come back here to get him at a later point. Let's see, can we sell something here? Oh, we can sell memories of distant shores. Should we? That would give us one supply. No, it wouldn't give us enough money for one supply. It would give us enough money for one fuel. But the fuel's not the problem here. Okay, so let's not do any of that, or at, and that we can do anything here. So let's see. Is there something else we can do here in Vendabite? Uh, we can explore Vendabite. Here they favor candlelight or gaslight. The shadows are swag like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. An interlude. You pause for refreshment at the Hungarian cafe. The coffee is dusty and the pastry is a little stale, but the gaggle of decaying violin players are skilled and surprisingly sprightly. They play, eat our hearts, my darling. The king is tall, tall, and pop goes the weasel with a brio and conviction. Then they start on the old dark ocean under the world, and you realize the time. Your ship awaits you. So we can't one 
memory of a distant sword, we lost one uh, Terra. Uh, so now we could sell three of these, which allows us to buy one supplies. I'm I'm worried about our amount of supplies here, so I will buy this this one last thing. I probably shouldn't have actually been that worried about it. It was only 30 bucks, so not the worst thing in the world. I mean, selling those memories of a distant shore were a lot more... Oh, alright. Restless Nights. Uh, it's the same thing we had last time, so let's roll again. Gained one Terra and gained Fragments. You know, if we gain Fragments, it's good. Alright, and now we just sail towards London. Hoping to get there pretty quickly, and this is one of those situations, like I talked about earlier, that I might start editing at some point. And I feel like our trip from here to London is gonna be just a sailing straight down and doing nothing else. So I think I'm gonna put a cut in here, and I'm gonna get back to you when we're closer by to London. Okay, we got into low Barnet here, so London is calling, so we're pretty much on the home stretch here so let's hope that we make a good amount of money from all the port reports we have like we have loads of them like so many we've been to every place except for these down here this time and we went there as well that's a lot of them so we'll at least we'll have enough fuel for our next run that's for sure they give us some supplies, that would be nice, but you know, they give us some money, so we can buy some supplies now. We need a 300 if we want to go and get the cook from Wendabite, which we probably do want to do. Then the question is, so what's our next goal? Uh, well, you wanted to go to Frostbound. Yeah, so basically going up, and there is probably what we're going to do next. We also need to go to, I think the Mangrove College was one of the places we need to go to at some point. Ooh, the Revenue Man. Her Enduring Majesty's Customs Service works closely with both the Ministry of Public Decency and the Masters of the Bazaar. Today they have selected you for an inspector. Don't cheek them. Let them do their worst. You have nothing to hide. Mm. Yeah, well, I have nothing to hide. Yeah, go. Vexed and frustrated. They roam your deck like wolves. They tear through your belongings like termites. At last uh, they leave. Okay, suspicious hasn't changed. The story only appears when you've been set to... Okay, a breath of relief. As soon as the gangplank touches the quayside, it tears the deep sea light and walk taller, smile more readily, but what dreams may cling. I'm luck with Terror 51. Yay, so... Oh, it goes to 50. Oh, and we have night... <laughs> Menaces Nightmares now. Terra is always reduced to 50 when you return to London, if it's higher. How I many if your Terra was higher, you may suffer nightmares later, okay. Okay, so this was what the 50 was. I was remembering that 50 was a point for something, but it's for this, so it goes down to 50 when you go to London. Okay. Ah, collect message from the harbour master. Yes, 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 let's do that. Let's see, something has changed in Neath. Someone wants to sign on. The blind bruiser attends to Bissell and Dark. Uh, we have one free day, and the Rose Market is here again. So, let's start with uh, the Smiling Man. What a proprietous and encouraging occasion this is to meet again here in this place which has been so very fortunate for us both. Allow me to shake you warmly by the hand since you have demonstrated your unswerving commitment to fair dealings and honest conveyage. Very good. My patron will toast you. Yeah, I will uh, accept the payment. 200 echoes, 5 fuel, 2 supplies, good. Here's your compensation, a little fuel and a few barrels of biscuits for the certain other captain has widely surrendered for the common good. I'll take the good word to my patron, and if I am a man of my word, we will see each other again. Unless a whale eats, uh, eats you, of course, in which case I hope you will not think poorly of me, which for wishing that we will not. Right. Uh, once more we find ourselves here on the quayside. That is supposed you might say the lip on the wall of opportunities. Let's both drink deeply from this well. By which I mean, my patron has an task for you. Take a payment across the ocean and bring back a little package. Yeah, sure. Here's the money. Don't lose it. Now bring the package back here. And it's my hard recommendation that you avoid the ungentle attentions of the excise. On account of the odd, if you return with the package, it is of no interest to my patron whether you have lost it or had it taken from you. Good luck. Good luck. If you return to London without an honest time to create a brilliant source before completing the disaster, sorry, the blind Bruce will take offense. Okay, so we have like thousand echoes here that we 
can not use for anything. Okay. Ooh, we gotta go to Polythreme. Uh, in the Sea of Voices. Polythreme is in the pretty much in the east, so we'll see what this. Ooh, trinkets, just trinkets. Let's do this. The man waiting is not a cultist. He's just another ordinary citizen wearing a silken blindfold. In a few years, perhaps everyone will be wearing them. Still firmly sealed crate of what are absolutely not sorrow spider eggs. Well, that's a relief, or maybe you just got lucky. Either way, they made it. So did you. Ooh, 100 echoes. That's nice. What was the address in the crate? Someone said college. On second thought, it hardly matters. Let's check out the Roses Wolf. Uh, ooh, they want outlandish artifacts here. Sure, we'll give it to you. A collector of sorts. The veteran private counselor heard some mirror behind the artifact and examines the reflection. Hmm, yes. Inferior to London workmanship, obviously. He'll make an acceptable conversation piece, nevertheless. He snaps his fingers and says, Pay the captain. Okay, 150 for an outlandish artifact. I am fine with that. Uh, let's see. What did you need? Seven strange catches, seven hunting throws. Okay, we do not have those. Anything in our lodgings? Well, we can read the morning papers. Things are the same as they always are. Oh, hey, we lost one terror. We got one supplies. We have one recent news. Uh, we could rest in our room about the blind helmsman, which... Oh, it's also per oh no no we don't want to purchase an elegant townhouse just yet that's not our money that thousand but we can so let's see if this reduces some of our terror it reduces one terror if you don't have the echoes to get go out roistering best stay at home the rats keep you awake of nights with their muttering and skirmishing but the bed is warm and the door has a lock okay back to London we go you know what let's go to the alarming scholar. What do we have? We have one, we have lamentable relics. I'm not really sure if there's anything else we can do with this, so let's just give them to me. Not a scientific curiosity, necessarily, but the scholar has a collection, or something. This would be so terribly wasted on my, in an ossuary. She? He? Buffs the cranium with a sleep. I think a climbing briar rose will suit this one rather well. A yellow rose, perhaps. Thank you so much. Let's keep this between ourselves. We got five echoes. Uh, okay, let's give him the other one. A, our favor has increased to three. You have come to Z for stories and other treasures. Uh, does that give us anything else? No, I'm not really sure why we... Well, but we'll still keep giving these to him. I probably should have checked if we could have sold them somewhere here in the shops for, like, more money. Okay. Doesn't look like we can. Okay. Good. Back to there then. Okay, got nothing else, so we'll leave the library. Oh. Since we were in the shops, let's just finish off. We got fuels, we got supplies. Uh, we need some Foxfire candles, did we not? I'm gonna buy at least two of them. Uh, we're gonna sell the Sintelac. We are going to sell the Bolt of Spider Silk. But... I think someone wanted some Parabola Linen somewhere. I feel like... What well, a possible officer wanted some parable of linen, so we'll keep that. And then we'll... Uh, let's see if we've got something we can give the voracious diplomat. Nope. Okay, dark spectacle. Admiral. Yes, you are an admiral. So let's go submit our port reports. Let's see, Hunter's Keep. Very... We, we've done this before, we know that. Mount Palmerston, this was a new for this trip. The Brimstone Convention. They trouble me, Captain. So we get echoes, we get fuel. Okay, Port Cecil, the principles of Corral. I have no idea why anyone thought that settlement was a good idea. More echoes, more fuel. Vendaby, this we've seen before. Wither, this we have seen before. Uh, Shepherd Isles, uh, we'll submit this as unsubstantiated here. Say, Abbey Rock, we've been there before. Uh, Chapel of Lights is new. There's something about the Unterzee that breeds heresy and dissent. I rather think we might need to send the Bishop of Southwark out for a good bit of Christian shouting. Avid Horizon. I hope you need to tell, tell me that everything is quiet there. Ooh, and we got the mis a visit from Mr. Sax. Well, that's actually probably the next quest we can do. Frost found. Is it as beautiful as they say? I doubt it. Poets are notorious liars, but liars make bad poets. A paradox, isn't it? Never mind. Your report? And Codex, where we've also been a before. A Con Shadow. I don't think we've been here before. 
Oh, those are always fun. Come on, let's hear it. Other officials gather around to hear your tales of bloodshed and debauchery, and the jokes about the Khan that the Shadow produces so efficiently and so entertainingly. The one about the Khan and the donkey produce a roar of patriotic laughter and encourages the deputy recorder to unlock the departmental drinks cabinet. Oh, we lost five terror! Nice! We have 21 fuel, that's quite a lot of fuel. Irem! Oh god, oh god! What tense it's written in? Oh god! Look, just read it to my colleague here. He'll give you your fee. I'll be over there when you need it. Okay. And King Meter's Castle. Ah, spares fastness. We're soon gonna have too much fuel. We're gonna have to sell some of our fuel, maybe. And Demo Island. Yes, we've been there as well. And that was it. Okay. So let's go pick the Dark Spectacled Admiral again, and we'll ask. Uh, wait. Isn't there a thing where we can we can ask him to give us a special place for us to do something? I thought there was a thing like that. Oh. We need vial of red honey here, apparently. Okay, maybe that's what what he's given us as the thing we need to do. Uh, or is was it here? No, it's just the information thing. Uh, okay, let's return to Wolfstack docks because our ship is a little bit broken. We need to fix it a bit, and also we need to hire more crew. Oh, let's put our ship in dry dock first. Oh. All and how much is this gonna cost? 75 echoes, uh, 100 echoes, Admiralty Yards, 25 echoes. Uh, what is was this? This one actually one point of Admiralty favor for fuel. No, we don't want fuel. Uh, okay, let's do this. We lose oh, three favors and some echoes, but that's not such a bad thing considering our hull is now fixed. Okay, London. So what do we have? We can carouse in the stocks. Oh, or there's a new recruit. Who awaits our attention? Someone wants to sign on. Uh, engage an officer, the genial magician. Good afternoon, Captain. Perhaps I can do your engine some good. No, <laughs> I'm quite the engineer. Difficult to credit, isn't it? But here are my references. Ah, uh, sure, we'll grab you. Okay. And, uh... Let's uh, look at some of our officers. I think we have a lot of people we could talk to. Okay, let's talk to this guy first. He's a good engineer, despite that missing hand, but Zaylas falls silent when he passes. Uh, he's mentioned before there was in a theater, so if we have two pills of purple and linen, one outlandish artifact, one live specimen, five perks and prisoners, honey, we can do things with him. Okay, I, do <laughs> I don't want to use supplies to talk to these guys right now, so we're not gonna do that. I think you also have a thing, yeah, if we had extra supplies we could use that for that, so... Uh, well, let's have a visit from Mr. Sax. Midnight. A present dominated your lodgings. Its fur-trimmed robe is the red of blood and snow. Over your chair hangs a familiar brown sack, bulging with offerings. Londoners give generously the crimson beast of winter. Anything to be rid of it. The figure stares in the fireplace, smelling of soft musk and harsh ammonia. I require a sturdy vessel and a captain. Yours comes recommended. You will suffice. Mr. Sax, take my service. An ancient contract. Words not to be spoken lightly. Uh, no, we'll take this. The beast withdraws its hand from the fireplace, examining it. Packed lacquer, neath snow. It disappears back in the incarnadine robe. Three deliveries by your release. Do not tarry. You have much to lose. Okay, and uh, so, Mr. Mr. Sax, the Crimson Beast of Windsor lurks in your hole. This is not a healthy situation for you, your ship, or your crew. The creature calls for you. It is time to begin. So, let's do it. A hunger that can never be satiated. Mr. Sax is sweating, clutching what looks like a leg of lamb. The meat is rotten, the bone is well chewed. A fool sort of name that devours. It devoured him. A lifetime's wealth, wasted on cravings, can never be satiated. When all was eaten, he stripped the meat from his fingers in search of solace. Still, the hunger gnawed and screamed in his belly. He thought this pitiful offering of poison might free him. Debts are not so easily paid. So, Khan's Heart or Pigmod Isle? Okay, so we know to go to Pigmod Isle now. Uh, so, let's uh, shop for some things like supplies. 
Okay, we can fit 12 supplies in our hold right now. That's not the best thing. But hey, it'll do for now. So let's see, do we have something in our hold? We have a bridge, something we put on our bridge. Oh, like a lamp. Lamp, let's see, let's, let's buy a lamp. I think you sell lamps. Oh, we don't, wait. Oh, I don't have room in my hold. Uh, gotta sell something. Let's sell one fuel. And then we will buy a soft glint lamp. Sure. So we'll put it on the bridge. And that's that. So, <sighs> Mr. W the Crimson Beast of Winter wants us to go to Pig Mode Isle, which is there. Uh, someone wanted us to go somewhere. I have already forgotten all the things where people wanted us to go. <laughs> which. One of the negative things about this game is sure you have like these these objective things here, but uh, uh, oh, we already have this. So okay, not everything goes here really. So for instance, this a dream and a scheme. He has a plan. Well, what what does this mean? Where where, where can I see what I actually need to do for if I wasn't here? Like for now, I can see what he does here. But oh, that's actually here, right? But yeah, like the Crimson Beast of Windsor isn't here. Okay, it's here in Sax and Snow. Can't start to pick about Isle. Okay. And Karko from the Chairman. Call it from Polo 3. So we need to go to Polo 3, we need to go to the Empire of Hands, and we need to go to Pig Mode Isle. And all of that tells me that we need to go. Basically, we're probably gonna go. Maybe we'll go down the Kumean Canal from there to Pig Mode Isle, and from there we'll go this way and try to find Polo 3 and the. Uh, hands to empire of hands but we're gonna do that in the next episode because this one's gonna end here i'm a cop this has been sunless see goodbye world thanks for watching see you next time mm -hmm.